What's going on, YouTube? How about you? <laughs> All right. Um, I made this video already, and uh, it was called Managing Your Expenses. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Um, I hit on a lot of things that I wanted to hit on, and um, after watching it a couple times, um, I realized that I missed on a whole lot of whole lot of points that I that I wanted to put out. You know, so I took it down. I'm redoing it. And here we go. So basically, if you guys are starting to get into trucking or, or already established in trucking, um, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, managing your expenses. Now I'm going to break this up in a two part video. I'm going to do your home expenses and your truck expenses. Out, life out here on the road. How to, how to save your money out here on the road. All right. But we're going to start at home. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, once you're in the struggle, once you're already in the struggle out here and you're down, you're knocked down, man, it's kind of late, you know, it's a little bit late to, to really examine everything, you know, because the bills at home already, they're what they are, what they are, you know, you're already broke. They're already, the bill is sitting on the desk. It's due, it's overdue, you know, so it's a little bit late. So let's get ahead of the game here. You know, I've been doing this for a long time of, of living uh, I call it a simple life, you know, uh, I'm married, got two kids, and we live a simple life, you know, it can be done out here, uh, for you guys that are, that are uh, lease op, or, or owner op out here, and you're the sole provider for your family, it can get tough, it can get really tough, all right, um, ultimately, you want to have all your bills at a minimum at the house. Um, there's lots of things you can do to do that. Um, I usually recommend people to start with uh, having your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, or you, doesn't matter who. Um, make a list, grab a notebook, make a list of all of your bills. Every single one of them. I don't care what it is. If you pay money for it, write it down. Everything from your cell phone. Uh, the water bill, electric bill, rent, mortgage, um, anything and everything, a storage unit, car payment, car insurance, health insurance, life insurance, go on down the list, doesn't matter, okay? And the trick to this list is starting with the small stuff. Write them all down, but then reorganize them, the smallest on the top, okay? And then work your way down to the big stuff. The big stuff at the, at the bottom, small stuff at the top okay and go through them go through them with a fine tooth comb okay what do you what do you need what on this list do you really need you know um look at your cable bill or direct tv whatever entertainment bills okay do you really need them you know yeah well okay you know hey rob i, I got kids and and they like watching cartoons and all that stuff. Hey, I get it, man. I got kids. Um, got to have the kitties. They're, they're, they're cartoons. You know, I get it, man. Um, but the point is, you know, do you really need it? Do you do you need those extra channels? You know, do you have HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, um, all that other stuff? You know, all the extras, all the $5, $3 extras a month, you know, because they, they really add up. They, they, they add up really quick out here. Um, do you need it? You know, do if, if you're in a really deep struggle or you're trying to really maximize, hell, you might need to turn a TV off. You might need to turn the direct TV off and, and the cable off. Uh, some of you older guys, hell, you remember there was no cable. When I was a kid, we didn't have cable till I was, uh, 12, something like that, 13, somewhere around there, you know? Um, it didn't exist, you know, we had what was going on off the air, off the antenna, you know, and that was it, man, there was no cable, so it can be done, you can live without cable, you can live without 99, 100 and 199 uh, TV channels, you can, you can live with that for a few months until you get yourself straightened out, you know, um, the point is, is do you need it, you know, do you really need it, that's a big question, you know, go down that list, every single one of them, you know, the small stuff. If you have a storage unit uh, with all your crap in it, 
that you haven't seen, you, you haven't been to it, you haven't used, you haven't needed anything out of it in who knows how long, you know, a year, two years that you've been paying on this thing, 20, 30, 40 bucks a month uh, just to keep your crap in there, you know. Um, do the math on it. How much is that a year? You know, how much are you spending just to keep your crap there? Maybe get rid of it. Maybe have a yard sale or just let it go. You know, um, do you need it? You know, is that crap that you really need? You know, it's a small stuff. Um, I found one the other day, or well, not the other day, it was a while ago. Uh, it was months ago. And uh, my little jet pack for the, uh, I don't even have it anymore. Uh, you just use my hotspot on my phone. A little jet pack or, or MiFi, whatever you want to call it, the uh, hotspot that I keep in the truck. So I have uh, Wi-Fi in the truck. Um, like I said I just I use it off my phone now it shaved some money off my cell phone bill but I had this little thing and most of y'all know what it is and uh, I was paying for the insurance on it me and the wife we sat down and we went through our bills just like I said and we went through with the fine tooth comb of, of itemizing what is this what is this what is this and we're like insurance we saw insurance and uh, for the hot spot for this damn little little thing you know we're paying five bucks a month for it all right and I don't remember how long we've had it. Um, you know, it's been a long time that I was paying this $5 a month. So I got to looking. And if you go on eBay or, or Amazon or whatnot, uh, you can find these things, you know, uh, for 20 bucks. Some of them are 15 bucks, 20 bucks. You can get the some of the fancier ones, um, you know, like 40 bucks, something like that. The point is... It's gonna cost you forty bucks. We'll, we'll shoot high, and call it forty bucks. You know, to replace it, to get a whole new one, to get a brand new one is forty bucks. But you've been paying five bucks for the insurance for two years. Do the math on that. Which is cheaper? You know, it's little stuff like that, guys, that get you. You know, all these companies out here, cell phone bill, electric bill, anything, everything. There's always that little extra. Oh, but sir. Uh, let me interest could would I interest you in um, this this extra package the super deluxe mega package uh, it's only $7.99 more a month but you get this this and this and you're like hmm yeah now it's pretty cool yeah let me get that $7.99 a month that's no big deal I can do that do you really need it do the math on $7.99 a month for a year come on now <laughs> this is easy math stuff guys you know, um, do you need it? Do you really need it? You know, and, and for these guys that are that are just getting into trucking, you know, if you watched my previous videos or other other people's videos, your first couple weeks are tough out here. You know, you're going through orientation. Um, you're, you're having to buy food. You're spending money. Um, you're going out with a trainer. You're not getting paid great. You're getting paid some, but it's not enough depending on what your bills are some can do it some can't you know um you're not when you go through training when you're out with a trainer yeah you're getting paid uh but it's not a lot you know it depends on the company i'm not going to go into numbers but some of them is you know 600 bucks a week some of them's 500 uh, some of them are 700 it just depends on the company that you go with on what your training pay is going to be for two or three months that's what it's going to be like for two or three months. Can you afford that right now? With with the bills that you have right now, can you afford that? I don't know. That's something that you got to figure out. Something that you got to figure out. Everybody's different. You know, everybody's expenses are different. Um, everybody's lifestyle is different. Um, you might have to make some lifestyle changes. You really might. You know, as far as as going out to fancy restaurants, um, buying fancy clothes, buying buying fancy stuff, you know, having a fancy car in the driveway that you're paying a thousand dollars a month on, you know, do you need it? Do you really need it? Especially if you're not going to be home. A lot, <laughs> I say a lot. You're going to be home, <laughs> but not like you you know, uh, you know, you'd be out two weeks, three weeks. I don't know, you know, but why have that super ultra mega dodge double dually xlt laramie um super ultra super trucker deluxe 
pickup truck <laughs> with DVD players and ultra leather and the the yes package you know it's got everything do you want this yes you want oh do you want the chrome yes the yes package the yes package double dually truck out in the driveway do you need that truck you know well I mean really do you need it you know you might want to you might want to rethink that you know or the guys that are getting that are that are established in trucking or or getting into lease purchase something like that um they start getting these big paychecks you know they start getting these three thousand four thousand dollar paychecks um those paychecks don't come every week guys you not every week you're going to get a three thousand dollar paycheck your next week might be twelve hundred the week after that your truck might break down and you get nothing or 250 it's up and down it's up and down out here all right even as a company driver well unless you're with rst on a guaranteed salary but there's a little shameless plug for rst there you go um but it's it's up and down you know these three and four thousand dollar paychecks are not going to happen every week guys it's a struggle out here you know um you, you got to manage your expenses and and you might have to change your lifestyle you know you might have to cut back some channels on the tv you might have to turn the tv off you might have to downsize your cell phone bill you might have to uh get your kids in the habits of turning the dang lights off when they leave the room you know i remember as a kid i was getting yelled at for leaving the dang light on when i, I wasn't even in there you know I'm always yelling, used to, used to yell at my kids. They, they pretty much got it now. And, uh, you know, I, I walk down through the hall and the kids are outside doing something. And both of them, the lights are on, the TV's on, the fans are on, everything's on. And they're not even in there. <laughs> Come on, guys, you know, but that's the way, that's the way I was raised, you know. Um, hell, I remember uh, uh, back in the day growing up, we used to put a brick in the back of the toilet, you know, and to, so we wouldn't use so much water when you flush the toilet, you know. It was a struggle, man. Um, nothing's changed, you know. I don't know if any of you guys remember, remember all that stuff, you know. Turn the damn lights off and wonder, why, why is this brick in the back of the toilet, you know. It was to conserve water, you know, so you didn't use so much water and the water bill wasn't so dang high. You know, when you got a house full of kids and everybody taking showers and, and using the bathroom, it adds up, man. You know, it really does. It's small little stuff like that. Uh, but now everybody, everything is all energy efficient and, and um, you know, efficient toilets and all that. But anyway, whatever, man. Um, it, it's important out here, guys. Even for the guys that are out here that have been trucking since been trucking, you know. Um, it still hit a struggle. You know, your truck's going to break down. And uh, if you don't have your, your bills in check at home and your expenses in check out on the road, which I'll get to in the next video, um, it, it's going to be a hard time. I can't, 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 I can't keep saying that enough, you know. Um, it's $3, $4 stuff, you know. Um, it's, it's a struggle. It, it really is, you know. Un unnecessary stuff. Do you really need it, you know. Um, I follow the Dave, the Dave Ramsey plan. Uh, if any of you guys uh, do uh, audio books out here, uh, use the audio Audible app, anything like that, or hell, even just read the book. You know, curl up in the back and read a book instead of watching TV. Uh, get the uh, get Dave Ramsey's The Total Money Makeup and read it. Listen to it. Listen to the whole dang thing. You know, um, it works. It works. A lot of people swear by it. You might not like some of the things you hear in there. You know, you really might. Again, if the shoe fits, wear it. You know, um, you might need to do some extreme measures to get everything in check, to pull yourself out of debt. You know, and making that list is, is one of the main things in pulling yourself out of debt. Okay, and that's why it's important to start with your smallest you know um, in that list even add all your debt you know your credit cards all that stuff what's the payment amount what how much what's your what's your payment and how much do you owe those should be the numbers that you write down you know and smallest to biggest and once you get established out here once you start making some paychecks now it's starting it's time to really buckle down you know um, you get your first couple few paychecks, 
um, again your first few weeks are gonna be tough guys I'm not gonna lie I'm sure you've heard this before you know your first couple weeks hell your first month out here on your own is gonna be tough you're figuring it out you're in a new truck um, you got a driver manager and new company doing a new thing you know you gotta have you're gonna have to adjust there's gonna be some things that you need to buy for the truck um, again unless you're <laughs> come over to RST <laughs> Man, I can't stop talking about this company, man. I'm in love here. Um, anyway, there's things that you're going to need. You know, it's like starting any new job. If you start a job um, as a, a construction worker, you know, uh, you're going to have to go buy a pair of boots. Uh, you're going to have to buy a tool belt. You're going to have to buy a hammer, a tape measure, you know, anything like that. You know, you're going to be a, an auto mechanic. Okay, well... You're going to need some tools. You're going to need a toolbox, you know, stuff like that. It's the same out here, you know. Um, you're going to need stuff on the truck. You know, you're going to need a, uh, it's nice to have a GPS. It's nice to have satellite radio. It's nice to have all these little things out here, you know. Um, it's going to be a struggle, you know. Do you need those things? No, not really, but it's nice. But it all comes down to bills, all right. And you might have to change your lifestyle to clean yourself up you got to clean yourself up you really do to be truly successful out here all your stuff at home has to be at a minimum you know you might have to get rid of that Cadillac you might have to get rid of that super mega dually truck out front that you don't use you just might you might have to cut the TV off you know going down that list let's get back on that and this is basically step one uh, of the Dave Ramsey plan of pulling yourself out of debt is to save up a thousand bucks Okay, Tur go through all your list minimize all your shit Minimize everything all right take off all the extra five dollar stuff turn off what you don't need. Okay Save up a thousand dollars Put it somewhere put it in a jar. Don't touch it put it in a savings account. Don't touch it It's your emergency fund. That's your emergency money. Okay in case something happens all right now, I'm not talking about the truck emergency fund that's a whole we're talking about the house we're, we're only talking about the house in this one thousand bucks go through your list start picking apart your debt if you got a credit card uh, that you owe 250 bucks on or you're delinquent on it you know it's past due take care of all your past due stuff pay it off Struggle turn cut the TV off Turn the turn the cable off do whatever you have to do To make this extra money available Pull yourself out of debt. The trick is pulling yourself out of debt Okay, I'm not talking about your regular bills. I'm just talking about debt I don't care if you owe your uncle your grandma whatever you need to pay them off school loans credit cards old electric bills from when you moved and it's on your credit you know all these things are affecting your credit that's what you need to take care of start with the small stuff that's why it's important to list the small stuff paying that small one off will be easy you get one of these big checks out here or save up some money by cutting cutting somewhere you got to cut somewhere to make this money happen pay off that small thing it feels good it feels great you're like man I, I did something I paid off that $500 credit card it's gone they're not calling me anymore you know they're not calling me of all all hours of the night they're not calling my wife trying to collect on that money I did it I'm done it feels good it feels really good move on to the next one $700 $750 credit card same thing save up save up pay it off and eventually this might take you a while. This might take you a year. It might take you a year to do it. To get yourself back on solid ground. Okay? You don't owe anybody any money. You're done. You're paid off. Now, if you guys just... It, it gets detailed in the Dave Ramsey plan. I, I highly recommend reading it. I'm not going to break it down on this video. But that's, that's the basic concept of step one. Emergency fund, $1,000 emergency fund, minimum, a minimum of 1000 bucks. 
That way, in case something happens, you know, uh, the car breaks down or whatever, you need to put a tire on it, something you got a thousand bucks. You know, it's not a big deal. That's number one. And then number two is make that list and, and start going through it, you know, of pulling yourself out of debt. But again, you know, this video is getting kind of long. I didn't want to go with this long. Um, it's important out here, guys. Again, once you are in the struggle, once your truck is in the shop and you're broke down and you're like, shit, where's the money going to come from? You know, it's like that. It's like that. What happens if you go three weeks with no paycheck? Can you survive? Right now, right now in, in your current situation, can you survive for three weeks with no paycheck? Zero. Zero. Can you do it? That's the question. So, all right, guys. I'm going to cut this off. It's a little bit long. Um, that's the home expenses. Very important. Very important to, to minimize everything. You might have to change your lifestyle to do it. You might have to cut some things off. It's okay. It's all right. Being debt free, pulling yourself out of debt, it feels good. It feels a lot better than watching TV on you know for <laughs> uh, you know one hundred and eighty dollar TV bill, direct TV bill. I get it. I get it, man. I, I I've done it. I've done this stuff. All right. Sometimes you got to make some drastic changes, pull yourself out of debt, and trust me, once you pay off that first thing, it gets addicting. It really does. Trust me. <laughs> it gets addicting, man. Stuff that you're like, you know, you're like, crap, man, I'm never going to pay that thing off, dude. It's been like three years, you know. I'm never going to pay it off. I'm never going to pay it off. And then finally you pay it off, and they're not calling you no more. You're not getting letters in the mail no more. It's done. You paid it off, man. It's it's addicting. You know, and you want to move on to the next one. It's like that. It's like that. Trust me. So, try it. Get your man get your uh, expenses in check out here. Um, it's getting dark in here. I'm tired. It's been a long ass day. I'm gonna cut this off. Curl up, go to bed. So, remember to uh, be the professional. Set the example out here. Help your brothers and sisters. Uh, pass this information on guys and uh, if you've done this yourself if you follow the Dave Ramsey plan if you already know what I'm talking about pass it along help somebody man help a brother help a brother out and teach him teach him this stuff you know and that's what we got to do out here you know versus seeing them struggle man and, and it, it's it's bad man to watch a good friend go belly up because of, of bad home expenses or bad truck expenses bad habits you know bad financial habits is what it is that's what it is so all right guys i'm really cutting it off this time thanks for watching uh i got a lot more to come all right guys take care